so we know about the memorial for Emmett Till, how it's always have been vandalized by white supremacists. A memorial to a young brother who was brutally murdered and one of the sparks of the civil rights movement at that time period. Now we always saw that they would like to go to the memorial of Emmett Till and shoot it up. Well, they end up replacing the memorial of Emmett Till and you're going to have the white supremacists from the league of the South show up there. But I want you to see what happens when they went ahead to the Emmett Till Memorial. Let's go ahead and roll that clip. We are here at the Emmett Till Monument that represents the civil rights movement for blacks. Members of the League of the South had barely assembled in front of the Emmett Till Memorial marker Saturday and were delivering their white nationalist message. What we want to know is when are all of the white people when alarms sounded and the group quickly disbanded. The marker, not far from Glendora, Mississippi, is protected by a bulletproof case and a sensitive high-tech security system. The moment uh, anything, uh, be it a person or, or a vehicle or, or even, you know, if there's wildlife or anything of the sort, it comes into close proximity to the marker, uh, the surveillance immediately captures it along with audio. The surveillance system is designed to prevent vandalism of the new marker, dedicated on October 19th, replacing one that was riddled with bullet holes. This summer, three Ole Miss students were suspended for posing with guns in front of the marker. So as you saw, the white supremacist was there trying to make their video, and they didn't know that cameras and an alarm was there. You also heard that this memorial is bulletproof. You know, something is extremely psychologically wrong with the white supremacists. Why would you go out there to an area that's not nowhere near you, not bothering anybody, but yet you want to go out there to this memorial? You have a sick, sick obsession with black people. Very, very sick obsession. No matter where black people are at, the white supremacists will come where you at, bother you, have something to say, uh, bother a monument, something. Like, why can't you just get a job or, or go find you something to do with your life? You don't have no kids to go raise. Well, actually, I would want you to have children because you would screw those children's head up with your hate. But you don't have nothing else better to do with yourself. You're going to waste all your gas to drive out there with them dumb flags that you have. And that Mississippi State flag, I don't see how in 2019 you guys still have a Confederate uh, symbol on your state flag. How do you still have that? That doesn't make any kind of sense. And how is it that even allowed in the United States at all? Because that flag was representing rebellion against the United States, treason against the United States. That flag belongs in the museum, not on a state flag. I mean, that's flag in that symbol represents racism, white supremacy completely at the state level in Mississippi. It was represented completely. So the white supremacists feel like, Hey, this is our state. This is our flag. Now I know some people could say, well, there's a lot of racism happening underneath the other flag too. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. There's no uh, lie there. But the fact is with this Confederate flag, we know our ancestors was enslaved underneath that. We know that. And that flag definitely needs to go away. It do need to be some movements in this country to get rid of a few things because symbols matter. Yes, symbols matter because symbols play on the psyche of people more than what you think. My thing is with the Emmett Till Memorial and how, you know, this time these idiots were embarrassed. These idiots was caught. That was funny. That was so funny to happen to them. And, and that's good. That's great that they got them on camera. And I hope people find out who they are so you can post them on Twitter and possibly make them lose their job because most companies don't want to be involved in no kind of racism. They don't. It don't matter even if they were to agree with them on some things, they don't want their companies involved with it. But this, this is very, very sad, man, what we see here. But this is what these people do. I mean, this is what they do.
So I've talked to a lot of brothers and sisters that live in Mississippi. Yes, the cost of living is very low, but they told me these white supremacists are real out there heavy with theirs. Me personally, I can't be around that kind of environment. I can't. I know, I know a lot of you brothers and sisters in Mississippi, you know, your family has been there. You know, you get some of you guys got land and, and some of you, you know, got decent jobs. Some do, but I don't know for me, I, Mississippi is not a state that I am real anxious to get to because just due to the things that go on over there and, and the stories I, I've done over the years. But leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this particular story um, out of Mississippi where the Emmett Till Memorial this time had an alarm and some cameras. Now maybe they can go find them something else better to do than going out there trying to mess with a memorial that's not even messing with them.